Democrats aren't the only one destroying farmers' ability to put food on the table. We've got wild hogs destroying farmers' fields. So we decided to go hog hunting. So Marjorie Green is hardly the only Republican who's filmed the campaign ad of her I guess pretending to be an action star or something slash shooting things and killing things. We're gonna get to some other examples, but she's actually running a little promotion. If you'd like to kill some hogs, you could ride around that helicopter with her. Take a look at this. We've got skyrocketing inflation, high diesel fuel, and Democrats America last policies. Democrats aren't the only one destroying farmers ability to put food on the table. We've got wild hogs destroying farmers' fields, so we decided to go hog hunting. Let's help American farmers out. Sign up below and let's go in that helicopter and go hog hunting. Enter to win now. By the way, if anyone knows any of the staffers working in Marjorie Greene's office, I would love to talk to the young Republican who thought they'd be joining up with someone who was going to write legislation, but instead they found their days filling, filled with having to edit in the sound of a hog dying to a campaign ad. That's a fun little twist on your career right there. Anyway, this is the most minor part of this. We're gonna turn to the more important part, but she makes a claim about how much damage Biden is doing to the farmers. I will remind you about a topic that she definitely didn't care about at the time, which was when Donald Trump started a trade war with China with these new tariffs that devastated farmers, so much so that they had to cut massive stimulus checks directly to different farmers. We'll put up a graphic, you'll see the details there. It's a little bit inside baseball, but I have a feeling she wasn't doing a whole bunch of vlogs at that point about how mad she was. More importantly, of course, she transitions there from talking about how Democrats are harming farmers to the hogs are harming farmers, so let's shoot the hogs. And it doesn't take a massive leap of logic. It takes only about as much as you might expect Marjorie Greene to have the capacity for to say that she is linking those two things and then fantasizing about murdering one of those. But she very much doesn't like if you point out what she's doing there, as we'll show you. But first, Emma, what do you think about this? I mean, yeah, she's not uh, trained in the art of subtlety, uh, that one, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Just uh, take a look at some of the pull-ups that she tries to engage in during uh, her her CrossFit uh, endeavors. They're not necessarily the, the, they don't really scream technique, nor do they scream uh, subtlety as well. <laughs> Those will never fail to, to make me laugh. But like, I mean, one, yes, of course, she's she's clearly making that connection, um, and that's she. I believe she came into the house uh, with a bunch of ads shooting things as well. Yep. Um, and I forget exactly what that entailed, but what is with Republicans and their obsessions with hogs and killing hogs? If you remember back uh, uh, in the last major mass shooting, and it, there have been a few, but the one that captured most of the of the country's attention, Uvalde. Bill Cassidy, Senator Bill Cassidy, Republican, mm -hmm. said that you know, people really need AR-15s to gun down feral hogs because they're going to be destroying their crops. Like I was unaware that the feral hog problem is one of the largest issues facing our country right now. So much so that we need weapons of war on our streets uh, on a regular basis and for everyone to be holding on to them in order to just maintain a mm -hmm. low feral hog population. I was unaware that this is a kitchen table issue, but apparently Marjorie Taylor Greene, Bill Cass, the other Republicans seem to think this is what we need to be worried about right now. Well, see, th this is where it's important to have uh, diversity of perspective on the panel because Emma, you might know, is a coastal elite and she doesn't understand that up until maybe 30 years ago, there was an entire band of the country where humans could only exist in walled compounds surrounded by an ever moving mm -hmm. stinking mass of feral hogs because we didn't have the firepower to strike back. Now, yes, napalm helped, artillery helped, but it was the AR-15 
2015 that really allowed us to finally push out and begin to farm on our own. It's the dawn of man, oh, that's good I would to say. Know. Anyway, I mean, um, honestly, I think I'm in the liberal media bubbles, bubbles, so I was unaware of that. But I'm glad that the AR-15 was able to democratize the mowing down hog process. Exactly. I appreciate that information. And by the way, the hogs are an actual problem. But no, you don't need you don't need to get an M16 to take it out. That's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, HuffPost had an article titled Marjorie Taylor Greene likens Dems to hogs, wants help shooting them dead, and she didn't like that. She tweeted, she doesn't like their, their freedom of speech, I guess. She wants to cancel them. So she tweeted, I demand you change this headline and your lies about me immediately. Your freedom of press is not freedom to lie about me. I never said anything like this and did not call for violence on Democrats. Well, they didn't claim that you directly called for violence on Democrats. They said you likened Democrats to hogs. Now, I don't expect you to know that word right off the bat, but you could look it up. You have access to the internet. I know it because you tweeted. And so just to be clear, I'm going to read what she actually said. She said, Democrats aren't the only ones destroying farmers ability to put food on the table. We've got wild hogs destroying farmers fields, so we decided to go hog hunting. What does any of that naturally have to do with each other? Nothing, you mm. chose to connect those things. You likened one to the other, that's a choice that you made. And you know that it's a choice that you made. We're not gonna play games with you. This is the same Marjorie Green, by the way, that back when we blessedly didn't need to know who she was and she existed mainly online as a weird person on Facebook. Somebody on a page that she went to posted about wanting to put a bullet in Nancy Pelosi's head and she gave it the old thumbs up because she thought that was a cool idea. Can HuffPost do headlines about that Marjorie Green? Or are you gonna cancel them for that too? Now really fast, again, as I said, she's not the only one who does this. You had Eric Greitens with an ad that even Republicans denounced this one, where he was going around shooting rhinos. Now, of course, mm. maybe they were only against it because in this, he's literally murdering other Republicans. But you had Dr. Oz. I've literally never seen a person look more uncomfortable holding a gun than he does in that left. Like on the right could, side, he he looks like he went to Disney World and went to like the old <laughs> old Wild Wild West exhibit and is 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 doing some sort of photo op with his family. Now with the <laughs> rifle, honestly, any other way you could have held that would have looked better. He looks like he's literally never held it before. He's like, could could I hold a tray of crudite instead? Something I'm used to, please. But then there's <laughs> there's the we have another ad. This was a guy who I think was. In this ad, I think he was shooting like KKK members or something. And then Blake Masters too. Blake Masters there is pretending that he's ready to shoot someone with a gun. Everybody knows he kills people with knives and then cuts off their skin, allegedly. He likes to collect skin, allegedly. It's not, I'm not making a specific claim, so you can't sue me, Blake Masters. But this is a guy that allegedly definitely would have skin in his basement. Anyway. <laughs> None of these people actually care about the guns, but they do know that their prospective voters do. And so they have to pretend to be badasses and action stars and all that. Although Marjorie Taylor Greene, I think she might actually be be a true believer in the, the gun lifestyle. The thing about what she is good at, um, and, and good is maybe not the right word, but what she uh, deploys, I should say, is a, a, a tried and true trope of the extreme right wing and Rush Limbaugh had been training his audience to do this for, for decades, which is see hidden meaning and hide behind plausible deniability. Mm -hmm. She's she, That's exactly what she's engaging in there. She wants you to make the connection of political violence towards Democrats. And she is uh, basically playing dumb when being asked about it in the press because uh, it's the same reason that Donald Trump plays the, uh, the where we won, go one, we go all theme at his yep. rallies. They want to get, and he's even bordering on the edge right there. They want to give enough to their base, to the far right people that support them, while still being able to be respectable publicly. And the thing, the reason it works is because of all of that far right, insane media training that the that kind of extremist base has consumed. And white supremacists think this way too, right? This is. You can hear them and how they talk about how they consume Tucker Carlson's program. Like he can't say what he actually feels on air, so he'll say this. Yeah, they understand Agreed. that some th things that they truly believe can't be said in polite society. So you have to make euphemisms. And so when he she does things like that, she knows exactly the connection that she's making because right a right wing audience has been 
understanding this for decades that this is how yeah. their politicians and leaders communicate with them. Yeah, yeah, like with the likening the Dems to the hogs and in one other way before we move on. I, everybody looking at this ad knows that she's pathetic and try hard and she just desperately wants to be cool and it's never gonna happen. But I haven't yet been able to figure out exactly which flavor of pathetic it is. And so I, I want all of your help. If you go to tyt.com slash polls, we have a poll. And so I ask, what is Marjorie Green referencing with her lightning eyes in the hog ad? Is she jealous of dark Brandon and wants images of her with lightning in her eyes so that she could be as cool as Joe Biden? Is it a reference to QAnon's The Storm? That seems pretty likely. Likely. Is it Stormfront from the boys whose eyes glow with lightning, that Nazi superhero on Amazon's show? Or is it just stealing Storm from the X Men because even black female superheroes can't have anything without her trying to take it? I don't know, but go to tyt.com slash polls and you can vote there and we'll reveal at some point what you all thought. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.